imagine a bird that looked like a giant fluffy turkey. Welcome to the world of the dodo. This quirky creature, now extinct, was a flightless bird that once strutted around the island of Mauritius. Here on Learn with Morale, we're about to embark on a journey back in time to uncover the mysteries surrounding this fascinating bird. We'll explore its unique characteristics, its life on the Paradise Island, and the reasons that led to its untimely extinction. So buckle up and get ready to delve into the intriguing life of the dodo. The dodo was no ordinary bird, it was a creature of distinct traits. Imagine a bird, round and plump, appearing like a feathered ball on two sturdy legs. Its wings, though small and seemingly non-functional, added to its unique charm. But the true star of the show was its beak. Large, hooked, and powerful, the dodo's beak was a tool for survival in its island home. Speaking of home, the dodo hailed from a place as unique as itself. Nestled in the azure waters of the Indian Ocean lay the island of Mauritius. This tropical paradise, with its lush greenery and abundant fruits, was where the dodo called home. It was a place of safety, a haven where the dodo thrived, free from the threats of predators. The dodo was a true islander, living a life of leisure in the tropical paradise of Mauritius. Life on the island was a paradise, with no natural predators to fear. Here, the dodo thrived, its body evolving in a way that's quite unique. You see, when a creature has no need to flee from danger, it often loses its ability to do so. Hence, the dodo, living in a predator-free paradise, gradually lost its flight, becoming a bird that walked rather than soared. Their diet was a smorgasbord of island delights, from juicy fruits and crunchy seeds to the occasional small animal. They were not picky eaters, relishing in the variety that the island of Mauritius generously offered. As for their social lives, it's believed that they lived in small, tight-knit flocks, a testament to their peaceful communal nature. You could imagine them waddling around together, exploring their island home, enjoying the sunshine and the abundance of food. The dodo led a simple, yet fascinating life in the lush greenery of Mauritius. But paradise didn't last forever. With the arrival of humans, the dodo's peaceful life was disrupted. The dodo had been living a tranquil existence on the island of Mauritius, but their world was about to be turned upside down. European explorers set foot on the island, bringing with them not just their own species, but others too. Dogs, pigs, and even rats became uninvited guests in the dodo's island paradise. These new arrivals posed a significant threat to the dodo population. The animals brought by the explorers were predators, and they found the dodos to be easy prey. The dodos, having lived without natural predators for so long, had no fear of these new creatures, including humans. In addition to the predatory threat, the dodos also faced habitat destruction. As more and more humans settled on the island, they cleared the forest, the home of the dodos, to make way for their own homes and farms. Unfortunately, the dodo's lack of fear towards humans made them easy prey, leading to their rapid decline. The last confirmed sighting of a dodo was in 1662, marking the end of this unique species. Extinction isn't just about losing an animal, it's about losing an integral part of our world's intricate web of life. Yet, hope persists, as scientists continue to unravel the dodo's mysteries through fossil studies and DNA analysis. These studies open new chapters in our understanding of these fascinating birds. The dodo may be gone, but it's certainly not forgotten. Its legacy lives on in our quest to understand and protect our planet's diverse species.